Hello! I received so many comments about my Grichu profile lately and I decided to finally make a video about it. This is meant to be more like a tutorial. Um, you can follow along and customize your grid profile so it looks like mine. This tutorial is mainly for Resto Druid, but you can apply this concept on any class. Okay, so first of all, let me show you how my grid is set up. I have rejuvenation in the right corner, regrowth in the left corner, wild growth in the right, and live bloom in the left. And also, if I apply the abolish poison, I'm gonna see it here in the top. And any debuff that I can dispel, I will see them in the center of the grid. And another thing I would like to see in the grid is the debuffs that I can't dispel, but I would like to be aware of them. When you first get the add-on, your profile is not gonna look like this. Uh, so let's try to customize it together. Uh, let me just make a new profile. I'll call it test. And this is how my grid looks when I first get the add-on. Which sucks, to be honest. So let's customize it. The first thing I do when I get the add-on is go in the appearance tab and set the background texture as none and the border texture as none as well so I can have a cleaner look. Also another thing that I like to change is the width. Let's put it 55 and the height 45 maybe. Or 42. Yes, 42. And now we can start customizing the, the icons we see. If you never used grid before, uh, you have the indicators tab. And here you can add all the icons that you want to see on the frame. And in the statuses, you mainly care about the buffs and debuffs. Um, so you have to type in the buffs, all the buffs that you want to see displayed in the grid. And if you have any debuffs that you want to track, you can add them in here, in the debuffs um, tab. So let's try it. Let's put rejuvenation in the right corner chop. So we click the indicators, the corner chop right, and we select rejuvenation. And let's see how this looks. We have like a um, small dot there, which I really don't like. The first thing we need to change is the indicator type. We want it to be an icon and we need to reload. So we can see the updated uh, view. And now let's change the size as well. Um, we go into the layout and icon size default maybe. Yes, that's better. So we have here the rejuvenation. Next thing we have to add is in the left corner, corner top left, um, add regrowth. We go as well into the layout, we select the type icon and icon size as default and we reload. And now if I cast regrowth, it's here. Perfect. And now let's add a few more buffs. We need to go into the statuses, buffs, and add um, 
Live Bloom, for example. We selected Show If Mine. And when we go into the corner bottom left, we click the Live Bloom. We click the indicator type icon and the icon size default. We reload again. And let's see how it looks. It looks good. One thing I'll change is the size of the stacks because it's a bit small. Um, and that will make it a bit bigger. Let's put 10. We go to corner bottom left and we change the font size to 10. And now it's a bit bigger. I think it's pretty good cool like this. Another thing we need to change or add is um, go to statuses again, buffs, and add wild growth. And we place here in the corner bottom right. And we do the same changes. Indicator type icon, icon size default, and reload again. And it's perfect like this. Let's change also the name. Um, I usually like to keep the name in the middle. Let's create an indicator. Let's select the type text. Let's have the name text middle and then we click OK and create. Then we click the text middle indicator and we select name. And also let's go into the colors and select class color so we can see it as the class. And now we have the base down. So let's do some other small changes. Let's add abolish poison. We have to go into the statuses buffs and add abolish poison, create. So let's create another indicator. Let's call it corner top right abolish, for example. Let's select the type icon and we need to put the name again. Okay. And here, let's select Abolish Poison, but now we need to customize it. It's not going to be in the center anymore. We need to change the icon size to pixel as well. And let's change the offset a bit to the right and a bit top. Wait, I can see it now. Let's change it to be top. Perfect. Another thing I like to keep track of is the, the debuffs that I can dispel in the center. So I uncheck death and rate debuffs in the icon center and let's add curse and poison because that's the things that I can dispel. And let's test it to see how it looks. Uh, let's add rejuvenation here just for testing. So this is how it will look. Uh, let's make it a bit bigger so it's a bit more obvious that we need to dispel this. Icon size 40%. That's pretty good, I would say. Let's leave it like this. And let's remove uh, rejuvenation from the statuses. And let's add one more thing. One indicator that keeps track of the debuffs that I can't dispel, but I would like to keep track of. So let's make an indicator called corner bottom left debuffs. And okay and create 
So now here we go and select all the things that I can dispel. So it's magic, disease, and typeless. Let's select one more thing for testing, rejuvenation, for example. Let's see how it looks. We need to adjust the position. So it needs to be... I would make it a bit smaller than the normal icon. So let's make it 40, 45% maybe. Or no, 40%. Yes, 40% is good. Let's just change the position. Let's put it left side okay so all the debuffs that I can dispel are gonna be placed in the bottom of the grid and let's uncheck the rejuvenation from the statuses a few things that we could do but it's not necessary or anything uh, in the type list, let's add here. So, one more thing we could do. Um, since exhaustion from the hero is not that important to see. Like, you don't need to keep track of that in the grid. We could uh, go to the debuffs, type list, and filter the debuffs. And for example, we could put the exhaustion here because it's not that important to see it. At least in my case, if you don't mind it, you can leave it there. And one more thing that I discovered uh, recently and I really, really enjoy is add the mana bar to each player. To do that, we need to create another indicator, but of type bar this time. And let's call it mana create then we select the mana indicator from the list and we click on mana and also power because not all classes uh, have mana and we go in the uh, colors and we select Mm, power maybe yes power and mana in this order power and mana in the top and then let's see we just need to change one more thing let's enable the background in the layout and background color as black oh it's perfect already like this but some other thing that we need to change now is the buffs from the bottom. So let's go in each corner and adjust um, the position. So we need to place this a bit top. And then we need to place the corner bottom left debuffs a bit top as well so let's select rejuvenation so we can test it and then change it change the position let's remove the rejuvenation uh, let's fix this while growth as well let's put it a bit top And I think that's it. Uh, some other things that we can do is adjust the, um, um, the death color. When someone dies, we should make the grid a bit nicer. Um, some other things that we could do is remove the top text. Because I don't like to see when someone loses HP. So let's go to text up and remove fate death, death as well, offline, charmed, health deficit. Let's remove everything from here and let's go to the icon center and select here offline and death. 
and now let's wait uh, till I die so we can make some changes oh so you can see here the debuffs that you can dispel okay so now that I died let's customize this a little bit because it looks a bit weird in my opinion at least um let's go to let's go to indicators health and select here offline and death and now we can select in the colors um offline and death if i could find it mm, oh here it is okay this looks pretty bad uh let's change the color in the statuses so we select the combat and then death and we choose another color I think this color is better for death and also let's select the text middle as death color as well if someone dies we are gonna see it like this and that's mainly all the changes if you like the video or if you have any questions you can leave a comment below and i will reply to you when i'm available see you next time bye